The computer as we know it today had its beginning with a 19th century English math professor, Charles Babbage. He designed the analytical engine and it was this design that the basic framework of the computers of today are based on. Generally speaking, computers can be classified into three generations. Each generation lasted for a certain period of time and each gave us either a new and improved computer or an improvement to the existing computer. The first generation began in 1937 when the first electronic digital computer was built by Dr. John B. Atanasoff and Clifford Berry. It was called the Atanasoff Berry computer. In 1943, an electronic computer, the Colossus, was built for the military. Other developments continued until 1946 when the first general purpose digital computer, the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, ENIAC, was built. It is said that this computer weighed 30 tons and had 18,000 vacuum tubes which was used for processing. When this computer was turned on for the first time, lights dimmed in sections of Philadelphia. Computers of this generation could only perform single tasks and they had no operating system. Second generation of computers used transistors instead of vacuum tubes which were more reliable. In 1951, the first computer for commercial use was introduced to the public. The Universal Automatic Computer, Univac 1. Then in 1953, the International Business Machine, or IBM, computers made their mark in the computer world. During this generation of computers, over 100 programming languages were developed. Computers had memory and operating systems, and storage media such as tape and disc were in use, with printers for output. The third generation is the one we live in today that began in 1963. The invention of integrated circuit brought us the third generation of computers. With this invention, computers became smaller, more powerful, more reliable, and they are able to run many different programs at the same time. In 1980, Microsoft Disk Operating System, or better known as MS-DOS, was born, and in 1981, IBM introduced the personal computer for home and office use known as PC. Three years later, Apple gave us the Macintosh computer with its icon-driven interface, and the 90s gave us Windows operating system. Thank you, Charles Babbage, for the computer. <laughs>